Right, you've caught me five hours into a burn. Now this kiln is a six foot ring kiln, but it's normally got three chimneys on. But today we've got four, because there's so much wind around, I don't want the fire to burn so high. But what you see coming off of here is mostly steam at the moment. If I put my shovel over the top of there, which is a test we do, you'll see that there's water dripping off of it. So there's an awful lot of water coming out still. The wood we use for making charcoal can be oak, mainly branch wood, and isn't much use for anything else, or it can be stuff that's too thin for firewood. Otherwise it would be just left in the wood and would be of no use for anything. Normally this kiln would burn for 10 hours, but it might burn longer because we've had rain and some of the wood in there isn't as quite as um, seasoned as I'd like. But um, what you do, you move the chimneys around around about every hour. Normally you move all three chimneys but because we've got only two vents today what we're doing is moving an hour and a half and just moving the chimney around one at a time. The wood is converted to charcoal by effectively removing the hydrogen and oxygen. What is left is the carbon. We start off by putting a charge of charcoal in the bottom of the kiln and then we light that and in an ideal world that would be all that would burn. We would then be heating the wood to drive off the moisture and to break down the wood to leave just pure carbon. We've got to the stage where I need to move a chimney so what we'll do is we'll take this chimney from here and move it round to the other side. Now if you look down there you'll see there's tar running down and there's an awful lot of tar inside this and that's the tar that's burning off so some of the smoke is actually condensing now we need to put that back round on there because if you don't that acts as a chimney and then I block the bottom of the vent up with this piece of wood And I'll get a shovel. So now what's happening, the smoke coming off of there is starting to go white. After uh, another hour and a half or so I'll move them around again. And we continue doing that until the smoke coming out of those chimneys goes what we call overall blue. Which is basically you will see that instead of being white, the smoke goes blue. And that just indicates that you're not actually burning steam off anymore and you're actually burning the wood gas. And you want to stop it at that point, which basically means blocking all the vents up on the bottom and leaving it for 48 hours to go out. This is stuff we produced earlier. Um, it's in this top half of the kiln that we don't use at the moment and um, it's a good place to store it because it, it, keeps it, it, it keeps the sun on it and it keeps dry and that's what we want to do because charcoal will absorb moisture if you let it out in the atmosphere. Once the charcoal has been fired it then has to be sieved because it comes out in all different sizes. We sieve down to half inch which is um, about the right for barbecue. Everything that is smaller than that drops through the sieve and that can be used either for blacksmithing or to, as a soil conditioner. Uh, at this stage we take out any odd stones that we find, odd bits of large bits of bark and it all goes into potato sacks. We do that here and then we take the potato sacks home to do the final bagging, otherwise the bags would get extremely dirty and of course when people buy their charcoal they want to have a nice clean bag to put into the back of their car. <laughs> 